Hello everyone, can you believe it? It's already Friday the 16th of December 2022. It won't be too long before Santa's coming down your chimney with loads of lovely exciting packages for you to unwrap on Christmas Day. Ooh, I'm being so flamboyant because I've got a Christmas jumper on. I got rid of tons of Christmas jumpers last year. I had more than 24 because I was wearing a different Christmas jumper for each of my advent series but I just got sick of storing them away so I sort of selected five or six and the rest went to charity. So this is one of the survivors, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Rain Queer, Reindeer. He's very furry. It's not my own hair that's sticking out through the jumper although it's not much different although mine's got grey in it by now. Anyway, I've got a roaring fire. I'm feeling a little bit more festive and Christmassy. I wore this in public last night. I went to a Kate Rusby concert. She does um, normally every year, I think. She might have not done it last couple of years, but she does all, sort of like a Christmas themed concert and some friends of ours kindly bought tickets for Mark and myself. And we went with them, of course, as well. And we watched Kate Rusby and her band performing some Jolly Christmas tunes and I put this on. There were a few other folk in the audience wearing Christmas jumpers. Not many though. I, I felt a bit like, I felt a bit of a nana to be honest. But anyway, I stood out, out and proud in my Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer jumper. Anyway, I'm going to do something very, very exciting. I'm going to have to dim the lights for this next bit and we will be getting on, don't worry. If you've tuned in to see the advent calendars, you will see them, but I've got something to show you first, which I'm sure will be very, very exciting. Finally, with the magic of technology and one touch of this finger on my iPad, and I'm going to reveal something to you that I was hoping to reveal to you a few videos ago, but everything went terribly wrong. But it's been fixed with some fairy dust and 45 pounds. So here we go. I now declare the Christmas tree lights on. Oof. It was a slight delay. When I first turned them on and they didn't happen, didn't turn on, I thought, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I won't tell you what I thought, but there was a bit of a delay. Yes, the lights came yesterday. Hang on. Here they are. Well, here's the box. They came yesterday and I was sort of thinking, oh, I can't really do much today. Mark's working from home, can't really film much. So I thought, oh, just do it because it's been annoying me ever since the SIBO chewed up half the lights and I only have, <laughs> the lights sort of stopped here and it was very annoying. So I decided to take everything off the tree. Everything had to come off. All the decorations, of obviously the existing lights, the broken lights and the ones that worked. And I just did it all again. And I'm more pleased with the result. I, I had a bit more energy and I spent a bit more time assembling, you know, the uh, decorations and, and spacing them out a bit better. So now all I've got, and that's this is more than enough, there are 2000 LED lights. And these are vintage gold colour. So they are a different colour but it goes nicely um, and they only use 2000 lights only use nine watts of electricity so uh, there you go folks finally I have a complete lit Christmas tree so now that's out of the way I can now get to the main feature which is of course opening the advent calendars Ooh, I'm so excited I could crush a grip Okay, folks, where should we start? Well, let's get it out of the way. The KWB Tools Advent Calendar. So what are we going to add to the tool case today? It's filling up quite nicely. Oh, it looks very festive against my red jumper, doesn't it? And the red Playmobil townhouse. I wonder what Tracy and Kimberly are doing. We'll soon find out. So there we go. It's, uh, as you can see, filling up nicely. So let's add another piece. Is it going to be a big or small piece? Right, 16, sweet 16, la la la, up down there, 16. Very important number in my life. 
I was born on the 16th. So, um, very significant. Right, okie dokie. It's uh, quite a small one, so I expect it's another socket set part or a screwdriver bit. Oh, I'll go in from the back again. There we are. Oh! Wow! It's a screwdriver bit, another Torx or star shaped head. That's quite a big one. So here it is in all its glory. A fantastic, precision crafted screwdriver bit. I suppose you could use this in an electric screwdriver or a cordless drill if you had a lot of screwing to do. Or unscrewing, of course. So there we go, it's time to pop it in its new home inside the KWB case. So I think there's only one place it can go and that's here. So in it goes, quite a tight fit, but a nice secure fit. So that's all full now, isn't it folks? We've still got a little way to go to fill this section. Three more socket set pieces and probably one more screwdriver bit, judging by that small hole. And then hmm, something's going to fill this hole. And then we've got three fairly large areas to fill. Crikey, this is going to be so exciting when I finally put in the last piece of the KWB Germany Advent Calendar. So that's out of the way, folks. Sigh of relief for some of you. Some of you do like the tools. Right then, oh well, let's get the socks done. It keeps falling over, it's had so much tape on it. <laughs> it keeps falling to bits. I can't wait for this series to be over so I can finally flat pack this bit of cardboard and put it out for recycling. So because it's the 16th, I'm looking for window number eight and here it is behind a lovely bell bauble. So let's see what uh, fat face sock we have today. Oh, my longer nails are coming in very handy. Well, looks like it's some bicycle socks. I don't ride as often as I used to. I was often on two wheels back in the day to go to work. Many, many years I cycled, but sadly, alas, it doesn't happen so much these days. So, very nice. We have some royal and navy blue socks with off-white and red stripes and a royal blue, I think that's royal blue, bicycle motif. And yes, we've got the Fat Face brand knitted in. Is it on both or just one sock? It's actually on both. That's brilliant. Okay. They go quite well with the red of my jumper, the little red stripe, sort of. Almost the same, a bit darker. Let's pop these on, shall we? So here we are, the fat face socks with a bicycle motif. Ideal for everyday wear or for those fans of the bike. So if you know a bike, I mean, if you know someone who likes to bike or cycle, pop into your local fat face and you can buy these, I'm sure, separately. But if you want to treat yourself or a loved one to 12 days of socks from the advent calendar I'm showing you, you can pop to fat face and get some yourself. This is not a sponsored video. I bought this and all the advent calendars I'm showing you, I paid for them all myself, so it's no skin off my nose if you want them or not. So there we go, that's Fat Face. I think we'll do Molten Brown. We'll leave the best till last. We'll leave Tracy and Kimberly for a little while longer while I see what delights await us inside the Molten Brown 2022 Advent Calendar. Well, here it is, and I'm certainly going to be keeping this box. I'll be taking all the contents out, but uh, 
I'm not going to recycle this, it's too good. It's something that you can keep and you can turn it into a different advent calendar for next year. I could refill it with molten brown or put anything in it. What you could do folks, if you've got one of these, you can go to your local Poundland or B&M store and then fill it with all sorts of crap from there. And then when the person opens it, they'll think you've bought them a lovely molten brown advent calendar and they'll be so excited. And then they'll open the first drawer and realize you're having a laugh. Right, 16, sweet 16, here it is. Let's pull out the drawer. It's another bottle. Another 100 mil bottle. Ah, I thought we'd be getting the conditioner. It wasn't yesterday, I can't remember, maybe a couple of days ago, I unboxed the Molten Brown Volumizing Shampoo with Nettle. And now we've got the matching conditioner. So here it is. I expect it to will smell similar. Mm, that that's mmm that smells of something from my distant past it smells like some sort of cleaning product or an air freshener I used to love but from many many years ago maybe from the 80s mmm oh, I like that I might volumize my chest hair actually I mean it could do with you know even chest hair gets a bit thin as you age so um it's still grown in the underground tunnels in London, yes, yeah, so as I said, in the sewers. But yes, it does smell nice. And the bottle is made from 100% post-consumer recycled plastic. What a bargain. Well, it's not a bargain, is it? Don't know what to say about it. I don't know how those people on QVC managed to, to prattle on for half an hour about the same product, although I'm sure I could manage it somehow. It's all sorts of scenarios you could say about this, isn't there? What you'd like to do with this volumizing conditioner with nettle. Anyway, there it is today. It looks very festive, doesn't it? With my jumper, this festive color, golden red, and the lovely lit tree in the background. I'm starting to feel just a tad Christmassy today. I've elevated the townhouse onto my little box here so we don't have to bend down so much. So hopefully when I rotate the box, everything won't fall down. Ooh. It's a lot more secure though than the cardboard advent calendars. There we go. So what's going on today? Well, the girls are on different floors. We've got Kimberly here, just, I don't know what she's up to, but she's upstairs in the dressing room. And here we have Trace. Looks like she's been applying some lotion. What have you been putting on? Been getting herself, she's been getting herself all moisturized for her next date. Who could that be, I wonder, Trace? Still using the Tinder? I thought so. You do look a bit haggard. Anyway, as long as you're enjoying yourself. But uh, there we go, we'll pop Tracy back. And we'll reach over behind the house and get the advent calendar itself and look for door number 16. Da, 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 da. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Uh, oh, it's, a, mm, it's quite a small one today. Uh oh. Oh, dearie me. I think that's the last thing we need. Oh, there's more. Oh, oh hang on a minute. Oh, there's some excitement behind door number 16. I thought we were only going to get some alcohol and an ice bucket and two glasses. Tracy, as you know, she does like the liquor. But we've actually got some, a whole bottle. But there's something even more exciting. I can't believe I'm going to reveal this. Finally, Tracy will have some, well, she's got a hunk on tap. Come on, let's, come on. I've teased you enough inside here. Wake up. <gasps> Look, a bona fide man to live in the house with Tracy. Perhaps he was 
Trace's last date on Tinder. Yeah, Trace, got a surprise for you. Look, look what's in here. Yes, I know, alcohol. Crikey, that is a big bottle and I think, oops, I've dropped, I've dropped a glass. I think that champagne, look at the size of that, Trace. Now, don't get too excited because that is to share. We've got one glass, but we've also got another glass. Yes, I know Kimberly is far too young to drink alcohol. Just hold your horses. What else have we got inside here? Well, the ice bucket, yes. And, oh, what the heck's, what the heck is that for? Is it, it's a bit small for a scarf. Or does it go, oh, I wonder if it goes on the wine bottle. Is it, well, possibly, possibly. I'll check the instructions. I think it look, looks like it fits. And then we've got, ah, <laughs> this is the actual, I wondered what these were. These go, possibly, oh, they don't really fit. Well, I thought they were, I'm gonna have to look at the instructions, folks. Because I thought that was the contents. Well, perhaps I have to push them. Oh, no, it is, it is, hang on. It's pink, I think that's pink champagne, don't you? You think that's pink champagne? Oh, it's a peachy colour, but it could be. Whoops, dropped it. So, Trace, put down your oil of ole, or oil of ule, as it used to be called back in the day, and raise a glass and welcome your new friend. I'll give him a glass too. And you can chink them, if that's the correct word. Here he comes. Brace yourself. Chink. Boop. There we are, look. A match made in heaven. Well, folks, this is somewhat of a reunion because Tracy and this chappy do have knowledge of each other. This is Daryl, Tracy's high school sweetheart. He's grown a beard and a little bit of a beer belly since they last met. But I think the spark is still there with those two. I can imagine after a glass or two of the pink champagne, they'll be at it like rabbits. And of course, I mean, at it like rabbits, bouncing around the field, all giddy and excited that they found each other again. It's amazing, isn't it? They've found love. It's a Christmas miracle, just like all those films they show on Channel 5 from October onwards. All those made-for-TV Christmas movies, all the same plot. Career woman moves out of her hometown, comes back to visit the parents, and rekindles a romance with her old high school sweetheart. That seems to be the plotline of every Channel 5 Christmas movie I've watched two minutes of. So... Oh, that's lovely. I thought we were just going to get a small gift behind door number 16. But for Tracy, that's the best gift of all. Some trouser for her. She doesn't have to go on Tinder. No more Tinder for you, Trace. You've now got Dowell back together with you. Oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, I'm, I could cry. <laughs> Kimberly, you'll just have to fend for yourself. What a lovely way to end today's video. Tracy and Daryl finally reunited after all these years. So I'll leave, oh, dirty. Right, that's it. Honestly, I know you're, you're old friends, but there is a limit. This is a Christmas video. You do that when the camera's off, thank you. Sorry about that, folks. So we will leave the two lovebirds. I think you should go out, go out on a date, go to a beef eater or a Bernie Inn or a wimpy bar, wherever you young people go these days, and court each other. Do some old fashioned courting before you get down to any jiggy jiggy. Okay, at least five dates before, you know, all that stuff goes on. It's disgusting, isn't it? Especially at Christmas. 
Well, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to join me same time, same place tomorrow when I'll be revealing three more exciting treats behind the Playmobil, Molten Brown and KWB advent calendars. And we'll see how Daryl and Tracy got on after their first date. So I'm sure you'll all be tuning in for the next saga in the Playmobil townhouse. So until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.